Come with me and discover the power of microarrays in action on my AstroDroid project. In this video, I'm going to explore how microarrays and ROS2 are able to control my AstroDroid that I'm calling Rex P1. So whether you're a robot enthusiast or a developer looking to integrate ROS2 into your projects, join me on this journey. This is my three minute summary video. If you have time, why not check out the full video? The Droid has separate RP2040 boards controlling each wheel and then a central Raspberry Pi 5 as the brain. So the Pi 5 will be interpreting the request to move and translating that into instructions for each of the wheels. The RP2040 zeros will then manage the speed control of the wheels. To do this, I'm going through an onion layer of functionality from throttle control to steering control, just for this video, with many more layers to come as we move towards navigation and planning. Each wheel does throttle control using PWM as a motor controller. It then uses the encoders on the motors to monitor the motor's rotation and speed. That means we can then implement speed control or cruise control using the PID algorithm. Each wheel will publish the state of the wheel as I've done in other projects using joint state messages. So we can publish the position in radians of the wheel and its velocity. To control the wheel, I've used the joint jog message taking a request to displace the wheel to a specific angle in radians or to achieve a specific speed in radians per second. To drive and steer, we need to interpret the twist message and convert it to a joint jog message for each wheel. The twist message provides both linear and angular velocity in three dimensions. The droid can only move linearly on the x-axis though and angularly on the z-axis, so we can ignore the other values. I need to do some maths to convert the forward speed of the robot in meters per second to radians per second for each wheel. This is easy if we're going to in a straight line, but more complex for rotations. We need to understand the dimensions of the robot for that. This rotation formula relies on tan, which causes some acceleration of the robot due to it tending towards infinity on some values. So some limitation control is required on this formula uh, proportionally across both wheels, of course. This formula gives me a controllable robot. 